Johnson, the chair of this committee, is on his way. He's been detained. But um, I've been asked as the senior member to um, chair this meeting and uh, hearing until he gets here. Um, today, we are going to uh, be listening to testimony and voting on a pre-considered intro, number, no number. Um, and this uh, intro, um, what it does is amend intro 1233, which we passed last month. And all it is doing is extending the time when the legislation takes effect. The legislation in 1233, which is um, the legislation to ban the use of some exotic animals in traveling circuses, would take place in 180 days after the bill is signed by the mayor. Um, in order to, on the request of one of the circus, uh, Universal Circus, who I've been talking to, uh, we've been asked to extend the time for uh, them to be able to phase out animals. Um, they will also have testimony today, um, which will elaborate more on that. Uh, so at this point, let me just uh, say who's here today. We are joined by Council Member Eugene from Brooklyn, Council Member Barron and a co-sponsor of this bill from Brooklyn, Council Member Carnegie and a co-sponsor of this bill from Brooklyn, and Council Member Jimmy Vacker from the Bronx. Um, having said that, I will now call up uh, Benjamin Thomas, Benjamin Johnson from Universal Circus. Good morning. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So uh, in his absence, I'd like to thank uh, Chairman Johnson, but I'd certainly like to thank the sponsor, sponsor of the bill, Rosie Mendez, for allowing me to come before you this morning to testify on the extender to Bill uh, 1233A. As she mentioned, my name is Ben Johnson. I'm the Director of Operations for Soul Circus Incorporated, which owns Universal Circus and is an Atlanta-based company. I'm here on behalf of generations of New Yorkers who have enjoyed the circus. While we philosophically disagree about the role of animals in circuses, we respect the council's decision in passing intro 1233A. Our many New York supporters of families, ranging from children to senior citizens and every age in between, who represent the true diversity and spirit of New York, Though they are not as vocal as the proponents of the bill, our tens of thousands of annual attendees speak with their ongoing support of Universal Circus. As elected officials who represent our fan base, you can give voice to them by extending the implementation date of Bill 1233A to December 31, 2020. After considerable discussion amongst the leadership of Universal Circus, we have a strong desire to continue our commitment to the many communities in New York City that, have, that Universal Circus has amazed and entertained for nearly a quarter century. In 2018, we will celebrate the 25th anniversary. So with this long history of performing, Universal Circus will need to review how it will reinvent itself based on what the bill requires and whether or not uh, that new rendition would be viable for New York City. For a national company of universal scale, the reconfiguration needed based on 1233A will require extensive restructuring with vendors and performers to evaluate and assess the best path forward. Additionally, Universal Circus will need to produce an entirely different show in order to comply with 1233A, which you can imagine is no small feat. New York City is an integral part in our 10-month, 16-city tour schedule. So to have a chance at a successful transition, we need a three-year period to adjust our business model. 
Universal Circus annually contributes more than $2.5 million to the New York City economy and supports hundreds of jobs here during the two and a half months of our 10-month tour that we perform in this market. We also support a wide array of charities and organizations that focus on youth, seniors, and underprivileged members of the community. One example of our outreach from this year's engagement was adding a special performance in Queens to host 2,100 plus clients of the Samaritan Daytop Village, which is a shelter for homeless families. They were uplifted by the free exclusive show for them and their interaction with our circus performers. They were not only entertained, but were also provided complimentary food and novelties to enhance their experience. Universal will continue to follow the longstanding regulations of the USDA, New York State, and New York City, and certainly the guidelines of the New York City Health and Mental Hygiene Department, which has led the nation in animal protection. While we disagree with those who support banning exotic animals from performing in the city, we understand and respect the sincerity of those who share that view. Indeed, the ability to disagree on matters of public importance and to work toward finding a reasonable middle ground is part of what makes this country the great nation it is. Circuses around the world have always inspired the positive progressive movement of mankind. They are and always will be a reflection of our humanity, strength, commonality, and resilience. So uh, thank you again, and we strongly urge the council to extend the implementation of 1233A to December 2020 so we can achieve these valuable goals. Thank you, Council Member Mendez. Thank you very much. I'm just going to have a few questions. Yes, ma'am. And first, I'm going to let you know that we cannot amend this bill at this moment to change the date. Um, under the rules of the City Council, the current bill to his age, and that's the bill we're voting on. Okay. So there, there would have to be a new bill in the future yes, with a new date that, again, would amend this amendment to yes. the bill. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I know my colleagues have to run, but I do have a question because um, we've been talking, Mr. Johnson, and... Um, I understand the importance of getting through the 25th anniversary. Certainly, if you've had a business model for 24 years, I don't know that you can switch it in what the bill calls for now, 180 days. Mm -hmm. um, the amendment would give you more than a year. It would take us to October 1st of 2018. Mm -hmm. um, Yesterday or the day before yesterday when we were talking, I understood you were looking to um, extend to December 20, 31st, 2019, and now I see in your testimony you're saying 2020. So I, I think that's where the confusion is on the language that's in the extension. Mm -hmm. So the extension reads um, 180 days after and it has a date next to it, which was October of 2018. The, so, the, so let me just, because um, when I read it, I got confused. The original bill says 180 days. Mm -hmm. And then that was struck through, and we're putting in October 1st. So we're changing 180 days with a date certain, which is October 1st. I see what but you're saying. But the bill has what was there, what's being amended and struck out, which is 180 days, and then the new date, which is being inserted in, and that's what this amendment would be. Okay, so there was a misinterpretation of what that was. It, 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 the way it read to us was 180 days after that date which would have taken it to March 30th, 2019. So I will just look to the council and make sure that my reading of it was correct. I am being told yes. The brackets mean deletion. Okay? Okay. I, I apologize. We, we, were, we were unaware of, of okay. what the intention of the brackets were. Okay. okay. So, so what, what we were discussing when I indicated December 31, 20. 19 was if we understood it uh, it had another 180 days that would have gotten us into June of 2020 annually we come to New York uh, between March late March and May 
So if we were able to go into June of 2020, then that would have given us the three seasons that we're asking for. So that would be next year, 2019, and then 2020. I, I understand now. Yes, okay. Um, just to um, shed clarity for other people who've not been in our discussions and yes, just to, I think, be as transparent, um, we're voting on this bill today. I do want to hear back from Universal Circus. I am also asking, which wouldn't be until September, if Universal could come to the Black Latino Asian Caucus. And my discussions with you, Mr. Johnson, is if we are going to do another amendment down the road, I want to understand what animals are being phased out at what point mm -hmm. and how that would affect your business model. Um, and, and But clearly knowing which animals that you currently use that are subject to the ban when they would be phased out from your tours here in New York. Okay. okay. Um, colleagues, do you have any questions, colleagues? No? Okay. So um, I'm going to call the vote. Um, I am recommending a yes vote in the absence of the chair. Um, uh, Billy Martin to the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on health, pre-considered introduction, council member Mendez. I vote aye. Eugene. Aye. Vaca. Aye. Barron. Aye. Oh, yeah. Vaca. Somebody <laughs> vote when they call my name. <laughs> aye. Eugene voted twice. <laughs> Barron. Permission Back. to explain my vote? Okay. I just want to say that uh, the Universal Circus has a stellar reputation. When they first started, I was uh, the executive assistant to the superintendent of District 23, and he understood the value of the circus and made arrangements with them to have a sizable number of our district population attend the circus so that children could have that exposure. So I certainly understand the value, especially since it is black owned and black operated and children see themselves in a positive light. So I'm voting yes and hoping that we can look further to see what we can do to perpetuate the circus. Thank you. Carnegie. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Um, I would just like to say that uh, I'm voting yes on this bill and look forward to working very closely with Universal Soul Circus to try to find some remediation that will allow uh, not to have a negative impact on your business model. Um, so I I'm saying that I want to work closely with you as we develop a strategy uh, that works and a model that's replicable in other industry uh, throughout the country. So Thank you, Councilman. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. We're going to leave the um, vote open for, for Council Member Johnson's arrival. And I, I just want to say um, I have not been to the circus since I was a little girl, um, but I've heard of your circus and your performances, and by everything that I've been told, that it is an, an incredible acts that you have and that the most impressionable and exciting acts are the ones with the humans in it. So I do um, want to continue our dialogue and our discussion. Um, I introduced this bill 11 and a half years ago. My intention was to have a more humane treatment, and I felt that animals, particularly in traveling circuses, um, by virtue of the traveling and the schedule and the touring uh, and traveling sometimes in boxcars uh, were not being treated humanely. My intention has never been to ban circuses and so I look forward to seeing how we can help you transition to um, a model that complies with the law. Thank you very much, Council Member. Thank you, Mr. Johnson.